The Complaint. One evening, Dragon was getting ready for bed. <laughs> Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. It was Beaver, who lives in the house next door. I've been trying to sleep, but there's a loud, funny noise coming from your house, complained Beaver. Yeah. Uh, I don't hear anything, said Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all quiet now, but there was a loud, funny noise. I heard it, harumphed Beaver. Dragon promised to look into it and Beaver headed back into his home, grumbling away. No, Dragon couldn't hear a thing. He thought maybe the loud and funny noise was a sound he'd made while getting ready for bed. But suddenly, there it was, a loud, funny noise. Beaver was right. Dragon wondered what it could be. It wasn't coming from Cat. It wasn't coming from the living room. It wasn't coming from Dragon. Where is that loud, funny noise coming from? He wondered. The loud, funny noise wasn't coming from the bathroom. No. It sure was loud. And it sure was funny. <laughs> what could it be? Ooh. Suddenly, the noise stopped. <gasps> hmm. Ooh. And then someone knocked at the door. Uh. It was Beaver. Yeah, 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 you see? I told you. Yeah. He complained. Yeah, I just fell asleep, and that noise started again. Dragon apologized for the noise. Oh, I don't know what's making the loud and funny noise, he said. Please just find it and make it stop. I need my beauty rest, you know. Yeah, yeah. Beaver was grumpy. I'm hearing things, I don't know if I'm getting older. The neighbors are getting... It was nice and quiet now, though. <sighs> Dragon wondered how he could make a loud, funny noise stop when it wasn't being loudly and funnily noisy anymore. But then, the loud, funny noise started up again, and Dragon didn't have to worry himself about that. Sherlock Dragon. The loud, funny noise was becoming more loud than funny. Dragon wanted to find out what was causing it. He would have to listen for whatever was making all that noise. He decided he would make a listening device. Yeah. 
He would put one funnel against the wall and then listen to the other one. Dragon decided maybe he didn't need a device that would make a loud noise even louder. Dragon decided to use a magnifying glass to see if he could see whatever was making all that noise. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> no. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> but he wasn't getting any closer to solving the mystery of the noise. <laughs> Dragon decided some turnip and sardine cookies might help him think. <laughs> and he was right. He could hardly hear a thing now. <laughs> Quiet, please. Dragon decided to ask his friend Ostrich to come over. Ostrich is a superhero in her spare time and loves to help. <laughs> She shouted. <laughs> Dragon was glad Ostrich was here. She would know what to do. I need total silence to concentrate. Hello. <laughs> That did not seem like the best way to solve the problem, Dragon decided. <sighs> Dragon asked Alligator if he knew how to make the noise go away. <clears throat> oh, I know what to do, he announced. It's like a loud noise, right? <clears throat> Dragon agreed that it was indeed loud. So, all we have to do is make an even louder noise, so we can't hear it anymore. That was an unusual suggestion, but one dragon was quite willing to try at this point. They made such a noise. A huge, huge noise. It was so noisy, they couldn't hear the loud and funny noise anymore. And they couldn't hear each other. Dragon shouted, I think you solved the problem! Pardon? Shouted Alligator. What? Shouted Dragon. I can't hear you! Hollered Alligator. Beaver, however, did not think making an even bigger noise was such a good idea. It's hard to get somebody's attention with noise when they're making a lot of noise themselves. upset about the loud and funny noise he was sure was coming from Dragon's house. Dragon didn't know what to do. He had tried looking everywhere. Oh, I don't know what's making the loud and funny noise. <sighs> Sighed Dragon. Beaver said he would find out for himself. Nope. 
whistle. Beaver gave the house -uh. a very thorough looking over. Looking good. Oh, yeah. But yeah. he could not find what was making the loud and funny noise either. Nope. He was so, so tired. The loud and funny noise started up every time he tried to sleep. He was so tired. He needed to sleep. Right here, right now. And then, Beaver started to snore. Now Dragon knew what was causing that loud and funny noise. But Beaver was so sleepy, he wasn't waking himself up with his snoring anymore. Dragon and Cat went to bed. And then Ostrich knocked at his door. Hello! I finally found the noise. It's coming from your living room. She shouted. And everyone finally got a good night's sleep. Bomb family, not the little, 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 little,